Hello again and welcome back to Wingot Plays Nomi Factory. Today, it's time for hardware mode. We are going to expand the base to make the other side over here. And then we are going to use that space to get our creative tanks up and running. But I will do that semi off camera. I, I like I'll keep coming back, but yeah, we I will pause and unpause and just show what seems to be snapshots of the build as it is going. So I will see you soon. Still going over there. Yeah, so it doesn't go there. It goes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
Something, something here.
Okay, after a fair bit of fiddling, that's the main section. And then it just needs to be capped off with all of this bits just being covered up with zest. And then the next step, of course, is to continue with making the, the corridors and the walkways. Which I I'll just finish covering finish doing this cap and then I will get to work on those. And in preparation for getting lots and lots of power, I've now set up draconium here and iridium, uh, what is that? That's tungsten, tungsten steel, tungsten carbide, black steel, iron, and osmeridium, so that we can tell the system to make 400 400 wive uh, 300 wyvern and steel panels and it just doesn't even flinch it goes yep sure let's do that the little bit of a string shortage energetic alloy ingot can always very easily also do a creative tank in fact i think we'll do that right now so fluid solidifier there we go there's one spare one so that can go there we have a creative tank here and what was it I just said? So, uh, energetic alloy? Yeah. So one energetic alloy. Perfect. And then that can go here. Meltdown. Go into that tank. Export. And then you just need a block mold. And then the block mold goes there. And this is told that it can output. Perfect. And so now we've got energetic alloy also going, being automatically made. 
And so these are taking a lot of pressure off the blast furnaces and we will be rebuilding things much, much faster. There you go, 3000 ingots already. And so then if we say we want 300 more, we're short on the string, which is a DML issue. But other than that, we've, we'll be able to easily craft the additionals. The DML is definitely a problem, but we've got this system here making our pulsating clay, which we've got 122K there, but we don't have any spare pulsating dust. And the 122K isn't full, and I think it's being slowly used up when we do something like telling it to make a whole lot of solar panels. So the that's something we're gonna to have to replace between episodes as well. But while that works away, it's time to go over here and continue on with the build. And that there is the end. So if we grab a bit of Zorg, we can throw some Zorg here. And then we just need some quite clear, no, not quite clear. We need some ineffable. Perfect. And now we just need to fill in all of that. Okay, and we have the corridors finished. Perfect.
Oh, hello.
Joy. Was all the vein add on? Fine. Yeah. So. And with that, we finally have the six wings built that we're going to use for our creative setup. I am quite thankful for the copy paste bad gadget, which has saved quite a fair bit of time since I'm, after I made that first wing, the rest of these were pretty easy other than that mistake where I deleted the walkway there and I just need to go in and change a couple of things. For example, if we pop in here, the we haven't got the openings into the into the room setup. But that's something that I'll look to set. I guess I did that in the wrong spot. Fine. That's something that I will look to do just between the episodes. And so I will get all of this tidied up and finished in, and then I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, stay happy and healthy, and I hope to see you in the next one.